Hey y'all, we just got word that Jalen Waddle is out for tomorrow's game. <laughs> it's just more Tyreek Hill. That's what it means. Robbie Chosen is not really an answer. He was elevated from the practice squad. This hurts Tua. Waddle is a very safe number two. But not having that means that Tua's ceiling is just a little bit lower. That's reality. Probably going to lean a little bit more on Tyreek. But if there is another pass catcher in Miami that's going to be used, I guess is that it's going to be Braxton Berrios, given Berrios' usage. But it might be River Craycraft. It's all hot garbage below Tyreek Hill. Let's be honest, when it comes to any type of fantasy relevance, you're not looking to start any other Miami wide receiver in your fantasy lineup. It's just a sad day. Waddle's still working through the concussion protocol, so it's clear he still needs at least another week to get through it. So you're just holding on tight with Tua. You're still probably playing Tua as a top 12 quarterback this week. Tyreek Hill stays as a top three wide receiver on the week. So don't get cute. Tyreek Hill's gonna, he's gonna eat, but Miami may be limited. We might also get some more Devon A-Chain in the passing game. A-Chain's worth a dart throw as a running back 3-4. But other than that, I mean, we're really scraping the bottom of the barrel here. No Robbie Chosen, no River Craycraft, don't get cute, no Braxton Berrios. Yeah, let's not, let's not go crazy, okay? Jalen Waddle's out. It's just Tyreek Hill.